What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. And I believe this update also came out for the Buds Pluses and the Buds Live as well, but definitely the Buds Pro because I got it. I at least noticed it today, but I believe it came out yesterday and I haven't really seen too much news about it. But here it goes, there was an update I got on my Galaxy Buds Pro and here it is. It's a 2.2 meg update and you can see it says improved system stability and reliability. I searched online, I searched Reddit, I didn't see anything on the news sites either, specifically what's been fixed, added, improved. But if you do, let us know in the comments, But and I haven't noticed anything either, so I don't know. But ultimately there's an update, do the update, and uh, hopefully good things will come with that update, but just FYI. Next up, Samsung's having a huge sale right now from March 22nd till March 28th, but they're also having like exclusive daily deals and the daily deal is really good right now. So check this out, the daily deal right now and it ends in a few hours. If you wanna take advantage of it, you can see daily offering at $350 off the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G while supplies last. Now you are relegated to get one of the carrier versions, the T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, or Sprint versions, but you also get $50 off an instant credit or $50 towards instant credit, $350 off instantly, and you can get the phone for as little as $399.99 for a Note 20 Ultra 5G. But then they also have other deals going on. You can get the S21 Plus, for the price of an S21, which is a nice little deal. You can save 30% on your entire S21 Ultra 5G ecosystem purchase. You can save 30% on your entire S20 Fan Edition 5G ecosystem. Get 29% off the Galaxy Tab S7 earbuds and a monitor, which is a premium package. And so much more, guys. Check these updates out. There's, again, some really nice deals going on from the 22nd to the 28th. And the link is down below if you want to take advantage of this. Last story of the day is about the Galaxy Z Fold line and a very exciting new phone. I'm not talking about the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So if you think I'm talking about that, I'm not. I'm also not talking about the Galaxy Z Flip 5G, you know, second version, of third version, whatever you want to say it is. This is going to be a completely new phone, which I've kind of spoken about in the past. And we're getting more fuel on that fire, baby. Add some more fuel. It is going to be a dual hinge, dual foldable Galaxy Z phone. I don't know the exact name, but it's potentially coming out as early as the end of this year year check this out this is coming from nike asia hopefully i said that right n-i-k-k-e-i is it or is it nike i don't know ultimately you can see from the headline they're saying samsung bets big on foldable smartphones amid chip crunch south korean tech titan is working on a new double hinged model and down below i'll link the article if you want to read it in its entirety which i do uh, advise you to. It says the South Korean tech giant plans to release the new generations of its Galaxy Z Flip and Z Fold phones later this year. Sources said it is also making a double folding phone that can be unveiled as early as the end of this year. According to three sources, Samsung has filed multiple patents for a double hinged design. Samsung has also set an ambitious internal goal to boost its total foldable smartphone shipments to a similar level as those of the popular Galaxy Note series, exceeding 10 un million units annually. One person with direct knowledge told Nikki, However, that uh, goal will be tested by market conditions and the state of the chip and component crunch the person added. Now, if you're curious what this phone might look like, this is what it could potentially look like. These are some renders built up uh, from uh, Let's Go Digital of what this potentially could look like. And I've, I've showed this stuff off before. This doesn't mean exactly what it's gonna look like, but it could be a laptop looking design with a keyboard built out that pulls out and along with a you know, dual hinge that allows you to see both sides of the screen and stand it up and all kinds of crazy, uh, interesting looking ways to see this new dual hinge phone. Now remember, if, that, if this comes out, you gotta imagine this is gonna be $2,500, $3,000 in that range. A single hinge phone, 
is at $2,000. I mean, once it comes out after a few months, you can get it. usually get it for less than that. But this is a brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new design with even more parts that could break down, parts that it's gonna take more time to build. It's getting wild out there. These are wild days right now. And uh, if this has this kind of hinge right here, think of another one of those hinges, probably smaller. Also think about if they're able to do something with a dual hinge, I doubt the hinge is gonna be this big because we're hearing rumors with the regular Galaxy Z Fold 3 that the hinge and the design is going to be lighter and smaller. And that all leads credence and 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 reliability to this rumor that they could be doing this as well with a smaller hinge, multiple hinges for more designs and, and just craziness all around. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question now to you guys is what's more exciting, a dual hinge foldable phone or are you into the single hinge let me know in the comments down below i'm excited for both these devices uh at the end of this year are we going to see this phone i sure hope so let me know your thoughts we'll see you guys down the road peace